Fort Benning's Maneuver Battle Lab hosted a manned unmanned teaming event known as Mum T that evaluated how soldiers on the ground utilize unmanned air and ground assets to increase their situational awareness, lethality, and survivability. And what we did was we attempted to team ourselves with all this technology and then figure out what the difference was between the way we normally would fight and how we would fight with the technology and whether that gives us an advantage and or disadvantage. According to the most recent Army in and out call report, many occupations involving unmanned systems are looking to plus up their numbers, looking good for the technology. This includes UAS repairers and UAS operators. At this experiment, soldiers were able to test the latest in unmanned aviation, including a nano UAS known as the cargo pocket. I mean, one of the problems with the air assets up to this point has been the noise and the small one. Uh, it really. You know, you could fly it five feet from somebody and then they don't know what's there, so it's, it's nice to be able to have that stealth. Ground technologies also impress soldiers with their modularity, versatility, and adaptability. One such vehicle was the MUT, capable of carrying up to 600 pounds of gear with seemingly endless capabilities for attachments, including weapon systems, litters, and even equipment. You carry what you fight with, so depending on the mission, you, know, you could be out there four or five days and I have to carry all my food and water and ammo. So having this MUT be able to carry all that additional ammo, now I'm lighter, I can move quicker, still get to the objective, you know, even faster, and now I have 50 cows that I can bring. So our odds of success and bringing everybody back home is substantially increased. As the Army moves towards a smaller, more lethal force, the partnership between soldiers and unmanned systems is being evaluated to ensure that soldiers have every capability possible on the battlefield. Melissa Bell, Fort Benning TV.